Welcome to the channel. I've got one question for all of you great people. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night urging, urging for a midnight snack? If you do, can I recommend pot noodles? Peri Peri Pot Noodle is absolutely fabulous. It's one of the best, cheapest meals you can get. And why do I mention cheap? Well, this, pop, this meal here, this meal here that you could have at midnight if you choose to, probably costs as much as the game we're about to play. Let me explain why. So the game we're about to play comes on Steam, and it's called Deep Dark Wrath. And I was approached by the author, and, and let me show you their comments, actually. So, Deep Dark Wrath, I am Lem, also known as Crafted Circuitry, and I've released a hand-drawn collecting dungeon called the name Deep Dark Wrath. Looking at your brand, it's a game you and your audience may be interested in. So I'd like to ask if you'd cover it and review it. And this is Crafted Circuitry, um, who created this, and we are going to be playing his game called Deep Dark Wrath. And yes, we will be gladly playing this for you. We'll gladly play this for you. So all I've done is I've fired this up, configured the screen into full screen, plugged in a joystick so I can move around a little bit. You see it there. And that's literally all I've done. Underneath my little webcam at the moment, let me just show you what we have here. Um, we've got zero red things, zero yellow things, and zero blue things. You know, they don't really matter at the moment, but you know what? We're just going to go back, I think, to we were before and we're back over here and we're going to start the journey together it was brilliant that somebody came to me and they said will you have a look at the game they gave me a code for it at the same time so this has cost me zero of my british pounds so you know as i say it really was very very cheap for me but no i saw the price of it and it is really cheap on steam and it might be a game that will appeal to you and he's right you know we play dungeon games we play games with knights quite a lot of games with knights um we play card type games as well that involve cards so you know let, let's go on a journey together and actually see what's going on here all right so we can move around up down left right okay and these sprites are hand drawn the icon that you see on the left hand side of the screen is this knight on the screen here you know he drew all this all of this is hand drawn art non ai art um, we've got configuration options there, which we're not going to bother with. And um, we've got credits there. So Deep Dark Wrath 204 release. This is a solo go dot game by Crafted Circuitry. Please do not redistribute. Okay, perfect. All right, and what did it say about assets? Yeah, okay, so some assets have been obviously used, but I know this has been hand drawn because it also said so in the email. So let's go to start. We go down here. All right, right mouse, right button to sprint. Oh, that's better, that's better. Look at him move, look at him move. He's rather big and chunky, isn't he? All right. UI movement. UI accept. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay, I guess that's fine. All right, title game, Compegion Campfire, Card Shop Dungeon. All right, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to go exploring the safe area enough might make this helipulter active. All right, so... We, if we explore all this area, I guess that teleporter works. Okay, can we go to the dun can we go to the card shop? Okay, you may also sell old cards and other enchanted cards you don't need. All right, well we've got nothing there. We've got nothing there, so there, there, there's literally nothing we can do. All right, let's go all the way over here, all the way over here, and see what we've got. There's a backpack. Okay. Uh, let's see, the uh, slotting an active card by pressing the slot. In fact, we'll, we'll, we'll see that when we get it. We'll see that when we get it. And what was over here? Oh, look, look at that, look at that. So the trees, when they obscure your character, they fade away. Quite neat. All right. So exploring the safe area, teleporter there. Um, I guess I can't get into there. Can't go and explore the safe area. Oh, here we are. Select the stat of the oracle you want to appraise for. Okay, how does this work? There we go. Alright, so let's do that one here. You'll uh, appraise oracle of armor with an oracle piece. A speed. Weapon. You see the purple thing moving across. Alright, okay. You know what? We're going to go into the dungeon. We're going to find our way to the dungeon here. Which I think was down here. Oh no, oh good lord, we've got to, what do we need to do? We've explored everything, we've explored everything. So if you're new to this channel, we play games as we find them, you know. It's an adventure, even playing the game at times, it really, really is. Um, and yeah, we've done no progression so far, which is fine. Alright, can I grab that? 
Okay, come on, gold, explore the safer area. Okay, that boulder's in the way. Alright, it's good to have breaks from time to time. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Alright, okay, yeah, that's the directions where things are. You know what? UI movement, why to accept. Yeah, that does nothing there. That does nothing there at all. Alright, teleporter we know. Oh, doors. Okay, so we've got nothing to buy. You know, sell old cards though. Buy instant 50. Buy instant 2, instant 3, in, instant 4. I reckon those will be the card levels that you have. Permanent eye. Sell enchanted cards, no. Alright, okay. Move away to stop reading. Backed up to downloads. Are you sure you want to... Uh, are you sure you want to load progress for the backup? Um, okay. Right. How do we get to the dungeon? Right, what are we... We're going to look at the backpack. What are we going to look at the backpack? Alright, I really, really would like to be in the dungeon. I'm obviously missing something here. Here we are, the Compedium is a place to learn more about the dungeon. Alright, okay. I'm not even going to read that and spoil that for myself. Um, because we want to discover things as we go. Alright, Enchanted Card. Oh dear Lord, card parts. That must mean we are going to look at that. Oh, I thought you had to build the cards for a minute. It's, oh no! Alright, so card rarity, card type. Okay. Instant. It disappears after use permanent, will last forever. Oracle, unimaginable power. Oh, God, Lord, Val, there's a, oh my word, there's loads of stuff here. Well, we can read that another day, we can read that another day. So move away to stop reading. Uh, okay, how to play. Set up your active slots with charted cards and dive into the dungeon. Um, and gather points, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And safe area. Alright, so we've now explored everything. That map shows that whole area. So we should be able to go into the dungeon. Nope. I, I kind of want to pick that up. I can't, but it, it's urging me to want to pick it up. Alright, let's go here. Move away to stop breathing. And it's open. It is open. All right. Right. So, press and hold to attack. Oh, we're there. We're there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Defeat enemies. They drop balls. They drop little balls. Now, um, oh, I've got health on the left hand side as well. Free health. Alright, is that health we pick up? Don't know. Oh, it's a bit moody music, isn't it? These are obviously going to be the easy enemies. And we've grabbed that. Drop points, give you points. Yes. Alright. Destroying crates gives you points. Or a card. Oh, bad people. You have a limited amount. Of regen power, right? Regen power was X. There you go. So we've learned that. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. Oh, and we're dead. We die so easy. All right. So all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Run, run, run. Yes. Enter the dungeon. It's like some church music in the background, some very strange church music, you know, the, the end of days church music. 
All right, this map looks pretty similar because we got those points up there before. So what does that tell us? It tells us that the, the maps at this stage at least are not random. They might be further down the line, but at this stage they're not. Grab that. It is a little bit of an exploring game. Right, we broke those last time. Oh, they appear. I saw that blob appear. Alright, so the first thing um, to be aware of here is, you know, even though you clear an area, you may not be fully clearing the area because of enemies uh, that, that just spawn randomly. Alright, so we can't go up these bits here. Now, can they come down them? So these look like they're platforms, so I guess we're going to go left here. Boulder in the way there. Kill you. Right. Nice. You can push down and swipe as well, and it does work. And by it does work, you know, you can hit basically in all directions because of circular movement he makes. You're not limited to just left and right. So some of the games that we played in the past where you've been stuck on passages and things like that and you haven't got anything but a left and a right fire this is not going to be a problem here all right there's a sort of purple blob on the screen it probably details what that is in the instructions but i have no bloody idea what that is all right that's gone i don't know what the red stuff is okay i healed myself and maybe, maybe, maybe it recharges when we're there. But that purple thing is getting bigger and bigger. I probably should have read all the instructions. It looks a little bit like Magic Knight, actually, doesn't it, from the Spectrum? Death Explorer 1 received. Oh! Okay, so... How do we get into our cards? You know what? Recharge. Okay, so you can pause. And we got some kinds of strange stuff going on here. So, looking on the left-hand side, a head plus points, which we've got one, three, four of. Um, might do, I don't know what this means. This is why I should read the instructions. All right, so I'm hitting all these buttons. Oh, we got a map. We've got a map, okay. To figure out what they do. All right, so we've got a map. I'm trying to see where we are on that map. It really doesn't show, but I think we are. Right, I think we've got to go down and right, and we will sort of be in the middle of the map there. Right, so. Yeah, if it, I, where, where the hounds kill you, where the base of you is, I think we go right down and right. Right, grab that. Grab that. Okay, my old oh dear lord, loads of you. And another one. What are you doing there? Alright, I'm... I'm a bit lost. This map isn't maybe showing me where I thought we were. And this is through here. Oh, look at that one. He's a version of me. Oh, did you see that? He was wearing armor. And we got to knock the armor off, and then there, there was him underneath. All right. Applied refresh one. Stat. Oh, good lord. 
a stat boost side in several parts will make it easier to go deeper. Various boosts can be saved by cards. Current unavailable stat boosts will be viewed on the pause screen. All right. Pause. So the left must be stat boosts. Yes. Look, we've got an eye there for a one. All right. Oh, and we died, we died, we died. Bollocks. Oh, that's a real shame. Okay, we've still got a card there on the right hand side. Alright, okay, let's go to the Oracle and see whether we can figure out what that card is. Oh, now the, now the, now the teleport thing works. All right, Oracle. No, really not much is going on there, never mind. All right, back into the dungeon. Back into the dungeon. Now we've lost all our money. Which is a bit of a shame. Because we might have been able to buy cards to help us. Alright, let's give ourselves a smart goal. Let's collect 50 points. We've got 3 points so far. And how do I know that? Because I can see them on my screen. So let me just show you where they are. There's those 3 points there. And we're back here again. That was very quick, wasn't it? Because I didn't want to be lobotomized by that walking skeleton, seven points. In fact, nine, we're going to test it on 10 points. Oh, 14 points, we're going to test it on 14. All right, let's go back here. Do anything, we're stuck there. All right, so now yeah, we're, we're, we're stuck. We've got to get through it. Damn it, we've got to get through it. We have to get through this. Down here, oh, regen, regen, grab that. Down we go. Break the crates, we know we're going the right way. Kill the slug or whatever it is. Grab, refresh one. And if we had to go to pause, no, it doesn't really show us anything. All right. At least attacking's not hard. You don't have to do a combination of 500 buttons to make it do anything. But look, I've got no regen. Is that regen? Oh, never mind, never mind. I'm trying to figure out how to do the regen stuff, but not very well. The perpetual enemies, you actually don't get much time. They're only little enemies, you know, they're, they're, they're not awful enemies in terms of end. Oh, that's not so good, that one. End of that, and I am hurt now. Come on, I can't regen. Yeah, I was about to say they weren't awful enemies, um, but because they're always there, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time. It really, really does. You, know, you, you can't stop, but equally, yeah, you're constantly fighting, so there's no quick movement across that. That's what I mean by it takes a bit of time. You haven't got fast movement. You know, you cannot run across the map doing everything you've done before. But what I like is that circular area that you've got here when you wave your sword. You know, you're kind of protected. Anything that falls into it is going to be hit back. So it's just basically make sure you hack, make sure you slash. And why do I not already regen? Stamina, oh no, 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 I've, 
So this means that your stamina can go down as well. But look at that, I'm going to sit here and we can be sure that an enemy is going to appear. So you know, you've constantly got to be on the move, you've constantly got to be doing something. Oh, health, come on, just give me some bloody health. Maybe I used all my regen stuff before. Oh, you know, this is what happens when you don't spend five years reading the instructions. You have to make it up as you go along and try not to make any mistakes. But yeah, this outer bubble, this outer shield helps for killing multiple bad guys. In fact, let's just check up here. I like this, their armor breaks off and then you have them. Oh, oh, I die again. God, it's just one hit and you're gone. All right, okay. One more go, one more go. Down we go. And through here, right, okay. So I noticed there's now a free, there probably was before, but a free next to the the button. I, I guess that's for regen your health. We ain't gonna be doing that anymore. All right, where shall we go? Where shall we go? You come at me from multiple angles. It feels a little bit like when you're in Vampire Survivors, you get a ring around you as well, um, of protection with all the powers, and it feels a little bit similar to that. Death, explore, one, receive, whatever that is. All right. So I'm forming opinions already about this game. And one of the first opinions I've got is, you know, this may, you may be looking at this figure, oh, it's a little bit slow for me, it's not my kind of game. But you know what this game is great for? Little kids. It's a kids game. And you can say that a lot about gaming, but you know, I, I, I generally mean that with a lot of compassion here because, you know, this is going to be ideal for the little ones to play. You know, it's not bloody. It's not gory. It's not offensive. The art, um, of the art that we've seen so far, is kind of cute and good as well so you know it's an all-round you know pleasant experience that is completely inoffensive and by inoffensive you know for the kids and stuff like that the little ones you know you sometimes want games that, that they might want to play and you know what i could also see this appealing in, in, in some um quarters to non-gamers and now uh, well how i mean it's a game why would it appeal to non-gamers well if you look on reddit the amount of times that you see a post is, you know, I'm trying to get my 93 year old, um, whoever it may be, into gaming. What do you recommend? This is the kind of game you would recommend, which is going to be, you know, reasonably slow paced, you know, pleasant on the eye, you know, not screaming, not cussing, you know, gives you time to think. Controls are really, really minimal in terms of. Of what it is and when you roll all of that into a package you know you've got a game for non gamers to allow them to have some fun which you know it's got a nice part of exploring oh we need to find an old card first right here we go one of the first quests we've got to find an old card first so you know this is one of the things that you would want to be doing you know if, if you're not a gamer you want something that's going to give you you know a little bit of action in terms of fighting the bad guys and we've got a mission to do as well so there's obviously quests that are involved in here and there it is 
All right, so there you go. Obtaining and defeating enemies anger the ref. And then they become angry and makes the dungeon deadlier to escape. You could check the ref anger. You could check the ref's anger bar on there or with the top of the screen. All right, okay. Okay, well, uh, with at least one, you can escape via the main door. All right, so we now need to get out through the main door, and that will probably keep our money that we've all good lord. That will probably keep the money that we've got and allow us to maybe buy some stuff. Okay, that's one of the ones. Oh, mother hell! I died. I died like that. I died so hard. You know, just as we had all that money to get out. Um, oh my god. So yeah, uh, it turned out what looks like a civil game proved to be a bit of a challenge here. You know, we're at the 25, 26 minute mark at that point, so that's probably long enough for the video. Um, I'm going to chapter this, uh, we would have seen it anyway. So, you know, you've got the mucking about in the opening area that we did, and then we've got the dungeon gameplay. If you are a kid, a young person, you know, if you've got seven or eight year olds, this is the kind of game, really is, for them, if they're not into gaming and you want to give them something general, something pretty to look at, um, a little bit spooky with the theme, so to speak, but completely inoffensive. Controls, controls are absolutely fine to use. Um, it's a very slow pace um, when you move around generally. You've got the run to move a little bit faster. You know, as I say, yeah, that, this game is way cheaper than a pot noodle. And a pot noodle would have been gone in five minutes. I've had at least 25 minutes worth of fun out this game. Um, so the author, thank you for allowing me to play this. You know, do I recommend it? Yeah, I recommend it for young audiences. I recommend it for audiences that are not particularly gamers as a whole. You've written, you've created a wholesome game that can appeal to a wide variety of people. I don't know if this game is on mobile. I suspect, suspect people will also enjoy it on the mobile platform as well. You have skills here that I wish that I had been able to create this. I can't create this, but it has been an absolute pleasure to play it. Thank you for inviting me to do so. Bye. Gentlemen's Pixel Club, the ultimate game channel on YouTube.